What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Look at what we're dealing with today. Oh, brutal. The other issue is that my little single cab short bed plow truck is currently stuck at the bottom of my driveway because I didn't realize the four wheel drive wasn't working until we got down there. Gotta go grab the tractor, get the driveway cleaned up to the best of my ability with it, and then my buddy's coming over. We're gonna tow the plow truck up and try to figure out what happened to it. Stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for the support on the last couple of videos. You guys have been killing it, and I'm not slowing down either, baby. It's also crazy now that I live up in the woods, how much more snow we get here is pretty unbelievable, to be honest. We probably got about six inches, I would assume. Also, this gives us a good time to check out the compressor shed, see how warm it is. I put a thermostat in here, so. We are at 40 degrees, freaking perfect. This little Amazon heater, this thing works so good. It has tip over protection and overheat protection. So if anything happens, it just shuts itself off. It's really genius. Oh, look where the tractor is. It's up in the freaking field. <laughs> this sucks. There it is. Oh. All right, let me get this thing cleaned off. <laughs> God dang it! Look at my hat. So I did the bottom part of the driveway. I'm gonna do the top part right now, which is gravel. And it's not fun with the plow truck, so definitely not gonna be fun with the tractor. But Chris is coming up, gonna help me get the plow truck into the shop so we can fix it. Thankfully, B46 is on the rotisserie. We'll be able to push it over here. We gotta clean all this stuff up, clean that stuff up. And then we'll have room for the plow truck, which is a blessing in disguise. That's what I get for being gone all year, letting the plow truck sit outside, not touch it, and something probably get ate by mice up in the field, so. All right, Chris came to help me and he's, you're sliding! <laughs> oh no, he's stuck. There you go, there you go. Floor it! He's sliding, no way. Oh no. <laughs> oh, he's stuck, stuck. Nice Volkswagen, my man now. Dude, you're done. This dude's stuck in my yard now. Oh. <laughs> Whatever, man, you can't be upset about it. You just gotta make the best of it. Even though it's freezing and cold, let me... <laughs> let's, get the, uh, let's get the tractor hooked up to the front of this stupid Volkswagen and pull it out of the snow. You got a tow hook, my man now? <laughs> oh, this is too good. All right, you guys gotta watch this. Hopefully the camera doesn't fall, but it's gonna be entertaining. <laughs> worked so well. I'm like shocked how well that worked. That tiny little tractor. Let's pull that big ass Torag. Impressive. All right, let's get the garage cleaned up so we can pull the plow truck in. Then we'll get the plow truck towed up with the tractor. I think the tractor should pull it fine. So, Whew. all right, let's go. Garage organization has turned into an absolute mess. So I'm gonna finish this up, move the E46 over. We'll pull the plow truck in. All right, I didn't have a chance to film it, but we were able to pull the plow truck up with the tractor. We had to give it two tries, but we made it work. So let's see if we can fit this thing in the garage now that we moved everything. Whew. Nothing like working on your plow truck the day it's snowing. If this teaches any of you one lesson, it's be prepared. Make sure you make sure everything works before you need it. It's so stupid of me. Why? What did I do, my man? I, I dude, I like don't. I'm such an idiot. This should make me want to do all the maintenance on this thing. I don't even know if I've changed the oil on this truck. And no, I checked. It's still at 500 miles. 
I saw a sticker. The <laughs> yeah, there's a sticker that says we have 500 miles, but that was probably 12 years ago. Anyway, talked to Mark on the phone. He said there's a solenoid on the front transfer case that we can just bypass by shoving a bolt in there. So we're gonna pull it apart, see what we can find. And I'm assuming the mice just ate through something. Hopefully this is like a 10 minute fix. And then we could actually plow the driveway and get to the point of this video today. Two hours later. Oh my God, after probably close to two hours, I got this out of the transfer case. We don't even know if this is the issue, but in order to fix the issue, this had to come out. This is like the actuator for four wheel drive. Thankfully O'Reilly's. Had one down the road, so we went and grabbed it. Oh my God, this thing was so corroded in there though. I can't explain how much Chris tried, I tried. I ended up finally getting it out. I took the air saw, shout out the airlines we ran in the shop, took the air saw, cut it all out, and it was good to go, but. Look who showed up at the perfect time. Boots, dog. You like them, dude? You got them at the cool boot shop. Oh, look at your, how do you, hey. You can't even see them. I was gonna say, how do you, you find them, dude? I basically don't even have feet on them. <laughs> oh, Tom, you came at the perfect time, brother. Have you fixed my truck yet? <laughs> I just got this piece out. It took me two hours to get it out. Look how corroded it was into the transfer case. I love it. Don't you love snow? Dude, no. This thing is the biggest rotted. This makes my E36 look nice. Do you not know what I drive? What I drove? <laughs> RIP my yeah. truck? Dude, so Tom calls me this morning. He's like, what are you doing? I'm like, stuck in my driveway. No four wheel drive. He goes, well, at least you have a transmission. Transmission out today. But usually you lose like... Reverse, I lost four, three, two, one, and eventually drove home in reverse. No <laughs> lie, in the winter, no, no lie. Hold on, we gotta give Tom a treat. Can I leave that one? I need this so Here you go, Mr. Tom. I need this, this is first of the day. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna throw this new solenoid back in. Hopefully this fixes it, and then I'll give Tom the truck. He can use it, I don't care. Plow truck, four by four, check. Dude. Okay, so we put the new solenoid in. We greased it while we were down there. Uh, it's hard to grease rust. You're not gonna really back up though, are you? Oh, yeah. Let's see. I don't know how we're gonna Press the brake and try to do a burnout. Yeah, I think it fixed it. All right, that solenoid did end up being the culprit. What an absolute nightmare. If you have to do that, I feel bad because that sucked. Tested it though, plowed the driveway, good to go. Now, we have to clean up the mess. I'm probably gonna call it for the night and then work on the car in the morning because we have a lot to do before the end of this week. Let's get this place cleaned up. cleaned up, everything is put away and organized for the most part. Time to get some sleep. Today was a absolute disaster, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Pick this back up in the morning and get to work on what we actually have to work on, what we were supposed to work on today. But life throws you some curveballs. You just gotta deal with it and make the best of it. Thankfully, I have good friends that came over and lent me some comical relief. So not a big deal, but it happens. Do your maintenance, do your maintenance. I should have known. It was probably an issue when I moved the truck over here the other day, so my fault. All good though. See you guys in the morning. Day two, and the more time I waste, the less time we're gonna have to work on this car. So let me show what we have to do today. Fuel tank, side skirts, plastic trim, bolts, wiring, clips, brake lines, Literally everything has to come out of this car. So I'm gonna set up on a time lapse. I really wanna do voiceovers or get mics. So if you guys have any recommendations on good mics, I just don't know how they work with other people being in the shop. Like if Tom comes, Mark, Chris, anybody stops by the shop, how are the mics gonna work if they don't have one? So that's something I'll need to figure out. If you guys know, let me know down in the comments below. But 
Let's get right to work on the E46 so we can pull it apart. We only have a few days left to get this car prepped. All right, see you on the Joby. all be worth it though, I think, I hope. Also, if possible, I might try to reuse these brake lights. There's nothing wrong with them, they're in good condition, they're not rusted, if the fittings are good, Free brake lines to the back, perfect. You don't realize how much stuff is on a bare shell until you have to pull it all off. We got all the hardware, grommets, brackets, junk on the ground, and all of this random stuff was in the engine compartment. So, glad we got most of it. We got 99% of it pulled apart. There's a few little things I need to fix after this video goes out, but I'm just stoked to have this thing ready and prepped, and I'm organizing my pile of metal that I have to bring with me also. <laughs> Um, so that's gonna be it for this video. That was a little bit on the shorter side, but I wanna get it out to you guys. I missed a day, so sorry about that, but it's out. We have some really fun stuff planned this week, and then a banger video for this car. So super excited, thank you all for the support. See you in a day or so. I'm excited. Let's take a look at this one more time. <laughs> it's good winter storage for the shell. We need to get an engine for this thing still. I have something in the works, but haven't locked anything down yet. So, you know of anybody that makes some gnarly V8s, let me know. All right, guys, see you in a few days. Thank you again. Good night.